Hey guys, okay, so first off, I'm sorry for looking for so custy. Um, I've been up since 4 this morning because um, if you guys follow me on Twitter, I've been, um, I volunteered at a beauty show for to be, a, to be a makeup artist for the past two days. So I'll be doing a video on that soon, just talking about and showing pictures. It was really fun. So that's why I look really gross because um, I've been working since like 6 and I didn't bother with my appearance because I was really tired. Um, and also, I'm so sorry for not making videos for so long. You guys usually like, yeah, you always, oh, you show, you always say in the beginning of your videos, don't worry about it. Yeah, I really deserve to say sorry just because it's been two, almost three weeks, so I really need to get this video out. So, um, before I get started on this review, I want to tell you guys that for this month, um, not because I haven't made a lot of videos in a while, but I should be getting to this, each week I'm going to have a giveaway. Um, I think there's going to be three there's going to be three giveaways, and that the week after is going to be my contest. Um, the reason why the contest is coming later is because I have more prizes coming in through the mail, and i got to wait for that. It'll be like there in a week or two. So, yeah, so stay tuned for those videos. Um, it'll, I'll stay in the video, uh, in the title, that if it's a giveaway. So this one will be a giveaway, so just stay tuned to the end. So, uh, I'm going to be reviewing um, something called the Uni Palette. I'll show you guys one. So it's this. You may have seen up other few gurus using this stuff. Um, so anyways, I was sent the Uni palette. I was actually sent a bunch of them. And this is, um, yes, I did get it for free, but I'm not getting paid for it, etc, etc, honest opinion. I don't know, you're always hearing this stuff. So anyways, what it is, um, it's from Uni Cosmetics, and it's called the Uni palette. The uh, reason why it's called that, it stands for Universal. Um, this is the one, like a, I'm going to show you it without glaring in the mirror. So there's a full mirror. I'm going to try to cover that. And sorry for that stamp on my hand. And it's a magnetic palette. It's just um, a flat... Actually, it's not magnetic. It's a flat metal surface. And then you stick in your refills or any of your pop pans. And you stick a magnet on the back. And you pop them in. So the reason why it's called a universal palette is just the palette that you put everything in so it's the one palette you go to for everything that's what this is made for you have heard of the z palette um encore reviewed it press press reviewed it um it's the palette where it, the actual thing is magnet and you just pop in your refills holds everything that's i see more as an actual palette this is more for travel people with less makeup and don't want to carry everything people who travel a lot etc etc so this is the white one this is mine and i'll show you what i put in mine so it comes with a full-size mirror, which is amazing for travel if you need touch-ups or anything, or just when bringing with you to touch up. And so this is the palette. And you're probably wondering what this is. Did something fall out? Yeah, something fell out. Oh, no, no. Okay, so this is like a rubber, I call it a rubber stopper. It has a magnet on the back, and you can just put it anywhere you want. What it is is pretty much a handle. When holding your palette, say if I filled it everywhere and I didn't have this, I would be holding it on the end and it's kind of unstable. When you have this in, you grip your thumb on it, you put it anywhere you feel comfortable, left side, right side, and you hold on to it. So it's a nice little thing. You can always take it out if you don't have enough room in your palette. Um, I, however, like it, so that's cool. Um, and how I made this palette was my touch-up palette. This is, I just wanted to show you guys examples. So, I'll show you guys the packaging. The packaging is amazing. Not only is this awesome, so it comes with a, a clasp, so it doesn't just pop open. You have to bust this open. And the one thing that's amazing about this is the rubber on the edges. You can actually remove it. Sorry, I have the hiccups. You can remove it to make more space, but the reason why it's there is that if you notice in your palettes, like eyeshadow palette, eyeshadow gets everywhere. This is just the fallout from the eyeshadow. It just gets all over the place. Or sometimes if you drop it, it cracks, it will spill everywhere. This stops it from any stains. If you look out on the outside, maybe not that much, you'll see stains from the outside because the powder just comes off naturally, no matter what makeup you get. So it stops it from filtering out, which is really, really good. Um, but again, it is removable. So in my palette, I have my Revlon Duo Concealer, which I hit pan. Um, my per my like per minerals kit. This is a so this is like mineral press powder foundation. This is a great powder to set my concealer. A Clinique sample blush. 
um, CoverGirl Black Shimmery Eyeshadow and two NYX shadows that I just popped up from a trio. Um, I popped all these by hand. Um, if you go to their website, they actually show you instructions on how to depot your products. Um, but only thing that I don't really like about it is, yeah, you do have to put your own magnets on it. It's not that much of a hassle because it comes with magnets. So I just have the trouble of going out and buying them. But I guess I would prefer if you can just depot them and slap them in. But eh, what else? So this is my. This is everything I would need. And I actually had a Sephora eyeliner pencil that just sat right here. You can actually even fit brushes if they fit. This obviously doesn't fit. But you can actually, what um, the owner did in a video, she sawed down the handle and just kept it in there. If you use Posh brushes or Essence of Beauty, they would actually fit in here. And like it's made to hold larger objects other than pans. Um, so you're actually able to close it with it and carry it around with you. So again, these are people for traveling. I didn't measure how many like MAC shadows you can put in here just because I guess that's not what I really saw for it, but it's not going to hold much. It's definitely going to hold less than 15, even if you remove them at the, the stop, the rubber. So here it is in white, and I'm going to show you the package it comes in with. Um, it comes in with this box, has a sticker, and you open it up, and this is their logo. It's like a little uh, three petal flower. You open up the box, and it comes with a sheet of magnet, there's actually more, it's three strips of magnets, but I pulled one out so I can depot those. And when you open it up, there's, you know, um, how to, you know, what the pal's made for, why it was created, how to depot stuff. No, no, inside is how you depot stuff. And you fold it out, and it's shaped as a logo, isn't it cute? And it has instructions on how to depot your, your eyeshadows or your press pans, and how you put them in. And, I don't know, it's just, it's a really, really detailed box, which made me not want to throw it away, so, because I don't need the box anymore, but I don't want to throw it away, and it's easy to fold back. So, I'm actually going to show you my mom's palette. Um, she sent one, uh, one for me in every color, so, my mom's birthday was coming up, and I showed her these palettes, and she's like, oh, it's cool. And she actually asked me, she was like, you know, because I couldn't think of something for her birthday, which is in February. Um, she asked if she could have... Um, if she can have a palette and fill it with makeup because my mom travels a lot with my dad uh, Both of them are old so they just travel a lot um, And she would love to like and she does wear makeup But she doesn't wear a lot and she doesn't want to have to haul a bunch of things with her So I made her this red one, which is really I think red is one of the prettiest colors that I gave it to her so And it's also her favorite color, okay thing and for her actual birthday because I did spend money on her Don't think I just gave her this free palette. <laughs> um, I bought her Five MAC eyeshadows. Um, here is her brow color, her everyday um, eyeshadow, so highlight, um, a nice base color, a lid color, crease color, and um, like a smoky color. And um, I also depotted four of her favorite eyeshadows, which are right here. And I bought her a MAC blush in Peaches, which is just like a nice everyday blush for her. So this itself is everything she needs for her vacation, other than like face stuff. But it has everything, like all of her powders. So she just needs to bring this foundation um, and brushes like liner and mascara, which is actually pretty good when I haul a whole makeup bag full of stuff when I go on vacation. So that's her palette I made first. So let's just some ideas. And here are the other, I just want to show you the other colors. So this is the like eggplant color. I thought it'd be, um, when you look at the site, problem is the colors look brighter there. They're actually a lot, dark, a lot darker, that's why I don't like about it. This is a very deep purple color for those who like, you know, your deep colors. And I'm sorry that I had to open these, but I need to show you guys the, the, the products. There's the blue one. This blue one I was actually really excited about because I thought it was the color, more of a turquoise color, which is my favorite color ever. But it looked dark blue, so that's why I didn't keep it. I kept the white one because it, it looks like a, a, a MacBook, like a little makeup palette macbook so i thought that was really cute and there's one more color which is like a yellow green and again it comes on all the same packagings all the stickers on the front represent the colors this is actually a really really nice color it's like almost a lime green so again all of them have the same things they all come with magnets so overall i really like this oh this palette's also 29 dollars which i'm not gonna lie is a little bit pricey the quality of these products are amazing but you know, it's it's definitely not something that I would be like, oh, I'm going to get a bunch and just fill my palettes with them and 
like if you're a makeup artist. Um, this is more for like you buy one and you fill it with like eyeshadows you need. It's useful for me because when I go on vacations, um, I can switch my palette. I can like, instead of taking a bunch of individual things, I just pull anything out of my MAC palette and pop them in and so the colors I know I'm going to be wearing. So that's what I like about it. Um, Again, it's very useful. Uh, it doesn't hold much though. I kind of think it doesn't hold much. But the concept is, itself is really good. So that's my honest review on it. Why did I throw an honest? I don't know. Um, so the giveaway is that I'm going to be giving away one of these palettes. So I'm going to be actually giving away the green one. So if you would like to win this palette, um, I don't want to like, you just leave a comment below. I don't really want you to leave enter me. Um, please leave, hmm, please leave, oh, please leave the name of your favorite cosmetic product. It doesn't have to be makeup, it can be hair, it can be nails, uh, makeup, anything like that. Just name your favorite product. Only reason why I'm doing that is just because, and tell me why, just because I want recommendations on some new stuff so I can check out and possibly buy. So, um, it's just something interesting. <laughs> So please leave me that, and I'm gonna list the date because I don't even know what date this is. What day this is gonna end? So please leave the date. I'll leave the date in the, the description box. Everything will be there on when it ends, what you have to leave. Um, any age can win this um, internationally, of course. So go ahead and please only leave one comment. I don't think I'm gonna be able to track spammers, but please don't spam. Seriously, that's lame. So, um, and if you don't win the palette, you'll be able to win these two palettes in the contest I'm holding. Because I'm throwing these in here because I don't need a bunch. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this review, and I hope you guys enjoy my giveaway. So, thanks for watching, and bye!